Gotta keep it down. It's night time. Um. Yeah, hopefully there's no noise in the background. I apologize if there is. Dad's always up at night. Um. I know I shouldn't be guessing what's wrong with me, but I'm recording this in April. Sorry for whispering again. It's nighttime. I'm recording this in April. Can't see my doctor because of the virus. I have to wait a little bit. But let me just go over what I think is wrong with me. Um, in the meantime, now, um, it's possible that one of my guesses could be correct. And if it is, don't call me fake. You like, don't think that I'm lying. Don't be like, this is all fake. Your neck issue is all fake. It's all just a part of a series. Don't say that. While it would be really odd for one of my guesses to be correct. Because some of these are kind of rare. Um, rare does not mean impossible. So I'm just saying. Um, so with that out of the way. Doing some research on the neck pulses, um, neck spasms, whatever, um, I've came across it could either be, um, I think apparently thyroid can cause heart palpitations, I think, which could travel to your neck, I think, I don't know. I don't think I have that, it's possible, but I don't know. Um, there was this thing that I also came across called cervical aortic arch where the arc the arch of the aorta um the arch of the aorta is a little bit more higher than it than it like it's it's, it's a little bit too high and it can cause a quote unquote pulsating neck mass so that could be another possibility i have a mild form of marfan syndrome so Anything relating to the aorta could be me. <laughs> um, that's a possibility. Another possibility for my neck pulses, neck spasms, whatever, could be a, a heart valve problem. Um, I don't know exactly which one it could be. I don't know if it could be mitral valve, aortic valve, or tricuspid. I don't have to do some more research. I know tricuspid can cause um, right-sided neck pulsating, I th think. Don't quote me on that. Because I looked up neck pulsation and I stumbled across a lady who had severe neck pulses and it turned out to be tricuspid regurgitation. I do have tricuspid regurgitation, but it's mild, and I asked my doctor multiple times, and she said it's nothing to worry about. But it could be possible that it's now severe, so that could be a possibility. That I have, that my, tri that my tricuspid regurgitation is getting worse, and it's causing neck pulses. That could be a possibility. Um, so, what else? Um... I just came across something recently that could be a possibility for my neck pulses, neck spasms. I didn't do that much research on this condition, so it's, I, I might not have it, but I just recently discovered a condition called cervical dystonia. Um, it has something to do with your neck or something. It can cause neck spasms, so that could be me. I think I read that certain positions make it worse. I think it has something to do with the spine. I think. Don't quote me on that. But these are just my guesses. I think I went through all of them. Hopefully I wasn't too quiet. Hopefully you could understand what I, everything that I just said. And I wasn't too quiet in the video. But I think the, that's all of my guesses on what it could possibly be. Oh, another one is, worst case scenario, an aneurysm, like a corroded, um, um, like a neck aneurysm in my neck, like, um, some kind of aneurysm, aortic, something, just something, you know, um, I don't know, because usually aneurysms don't, usually, a like, aneurysms don't 
cause symptoms until it's too late. Like, rarely would they cause symptoms um, before you have an episode issue emergency. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm not a hypochondriac. Definitely not because the spasms are real. I feel them and I see them in the mirror sometimes when I... I see them in the mirror sometimes if I'm able to get it on time to see it in the mirror. You know what I mean? Um, so it's... So it's definitely not in my head. Um, there was a day where it, my whole entire left neck was spasming like I didn't see it but I felt it. it was like the most extreme that I've ever had it might be an it might be a back thing it might possibly be a spine thing I don't know it's not painful not really I mean I've had neck pain before but the over 90 percent of the time when I have spasms there's no pain so I don't know so these are just my guesses don't call me a hypochondriac, and don't call me fake if the ultrasound picks up one of these guesses. Just saying. I'm a really scientific researcher. Let me know what you think. If you agree with any of these, look these up. Look these up and see if you agree or disagree with me. And if you find anything else that could be causing my neck pulses, let me know. Um... So this is Johnny, and that's pretty much all the guesses that I have for now. I have to wait until, I don't know when the ultrasound is going to happen. You know, I have, I have to get my, I, I, I have to get vaccinated in May. So there's that. So I don't know when I'm going to get the ultrasound, but well, I don't know. So yeah, this is Johnny, and this is the end of this video.